What's poppin' fam? My name is Brennan Myers, and today we're gonna be discussing why you are making the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not the biggest mistake of your life, but you're making this huge mistake when it comes to strengthening your abs, making them look better, sculpting that V cut. Now, before we get into the video, remember 15% off and free shipping for a limited time. We've never done this before on the new Driven Jackets, Make It Count, and the hats. Make sure you go check that out right up here and let's get started with this video. So I'm gonna take off my jacket so you can see a little bit more clearly about what exactly I'm talking about and every movement so that you can follow along with me if you are somewhere like in your office or in your bedroom or something like that. So the, all we're gonna be focusing on today is specific movements and how we can make them better and more effective so you can see those more uh, sculpted abs, that V cut and everything that you really want to see at the end of the day. So first of all, when you're laying down on the ground, and we'll be going through a few exercises that I can help you out with in just a few minutes, but when you're laying down, there's multiple cues you wanna really focus on that actually you keep on doing that are wrong and are hurting you and your results. First of all, when you're laying all the way down completely on your back, first thing is first, you consistently are arching your back, which is putting a lot of strain on your erector spinae and your QLs. That's your quadratus lumborum. Now, if you're putting so much stress on your posterior chain, what do you think it's doing to your actual abs on the front side? Well, they're not effective as much because, well, we have more strain on the back. It's just like if you're doing a bicep curl and you're using a lot of swing, you're gonna be using a lot of that swing for that bicep curl, taking the effectiveness away from that bicep curl. So we're gonna keep our lower back on the ground by going into posterior pelvic tilt. Now, if you see very, very closely, as we bring it down, my glutes are squeezing very, very tightly. Okay, so one more time, squeezing down. This is where you should always be, and as you can see from the top, my abdominal muscles are consistently contracted. Now they're not, right? They're lengthened, but they're not really contracted. Here, they're contracted the whole time. Second tip that you're probably making a mistake on is bringing your head out of a neutral position and flexing at that neck. What this is doing is putting a lot more strain on other areas of your body other than your abdominal muscles. So let's bring it back and tucked. You can have it off the ground just slightly. This is gonna work this, the specific muscles that will help in this movement and also strengthen up your posture throughout when you're standing up or when you're running or when you're lifting any type of uh, weights. So that is the second specific movement that you need to be focusing on. Now number three, this is huge. A lot of people do this incorrectly. Using your arms for the movements are going to really affect your abilities to go through the whole motion effectively. Now, some tips that I have for you, if you are, let's say, doing a roll up, okay, and it's using your hands here, this is different, right? You can consistently just roll up and touch the front of your kneecaps very easily. But let's say you're doing a six inch crunch, and remember, you have that tuck here in those abdominal muscles, and you're coming in like this. If you're going like this, if you're really, really using your hands, how is that helping you? It's not. So one of the things that I do, and because, because I'm more of an expert in this area, I, go, I do go through the whole movement like this, but that's because I'm not using any momentum, I'm trying to focus more on the contraction. What's even harder than this though, is keeping your arms completely above your head here. So now you're in a complete hollow body throughout from your top to bottom, which will put a lot of emphasis on those abs. So again, here, bring your arms over your head, and when you come in, tighten up here, and keep them over your head the whole time. Now, you can also bring them by your side, but what we have a tendency to do, once we go on your, our side, we start pushing down, now we're taking the, a lot of the effectiveness away from our abs. If you're more of a beginner, don't worry. You can go ahead and put your hands under your butt, as so, not under your butt, but a little bit higher, past, uh, close to that, that hip joint right here, or that the pelvic right here, and you put their hands there, 
in a diamond position and you'll see a huge difference in holding. Now, you only do this if you feel like you're having any pain or you're not doing it correctly. What this will do is once you put them here, you'll see that now your abs, rather than being right here, they're going to flex as much as possible and stay contracted throughout the whole movement. So, with all of those different things that we just did, I'm gonna demonstrate one more time a full movement so you understand exactly how to follow it on your own. So, remember, posterior pelvic tilt, meaning contracting those abs, touching that spine to the ground. Next, we're gonna be focusing on that chin. Make sure it's not looking at yourself here, but rather in a good position where your spine is in a neutral position. Now, from that point forward, we're gonna have our hands over our head here, fully extended. What this is gonna do is lengthen those muscles, but also put you in a good position so that now you're concentrating on those abs. Finally, one thing I did not mention is your lower back. If you're doing any type of abdominal work, think about your back. And more specifically, if you're doing any bicep work, think about your tricep. If you want effective and strong biceps, what do you have to do? You're not only gonna work those biceps, you have to work your triceps. If you want strong arms, you wanna work not only your biceps, but also your triceps and also your forearms, right? So now, when we're looking at it from that perspective, if you want a strong core, if you wanna be able to build a strong abdominal muscles and see your six pack, see your eight pack, well, what do we have to do? We have to work our lower back as well. So you could be doing Supermans, anything that really stabilizes that lower back, even this position right here, from going here to here, will put a lot of contraction on that lower back because it has to stabilize in that position. And you'll learn, once you do all of the movements, any movement that you're doing in bodyweight training or with weights, you'll see, okay, if I bring in a posterior pelvic tilt a little bit more, rather than arching my back, I'm gonna be using my lower back, my quadratus lumborum, my erectus spinae muscles that are encompassing all around that vertebra and spine, they'll be strengthened a lot more. So, all of these movements you should be doing and a couple exercises that you could be doing to really strengthen these specific muscles in your erectus abdominis, your external obliques and all of that. All right, watch. So first, we have the crunch in here, okay? Keeping everything tight. Remember, not here, tucking in and coming in tight. Another one, which is great, is coming about a halfway up, but making sure you're not coming all the way up. <laughs> that was not me that farted. <laughs> it, was the, it was the math. But you come all the way to about halfway, this puts a lot of strain on those abdominal muscles and it forces you to keep your back down. Again, this is something for newer people that are trying to perfect their form. So here, bring it down, here, and bring it down. And also a movement that we could be doing, it's just like a crunch, but remember, we're not gonna be doing any sit-ups or crunches. They're not good for your spine. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna sit here, really make sure we're going to that posterior pelvic tilt once again, and then we're gonna roll up and try and touch the front of our kneecaps. One more time, front of our kneecaps. Keeping that chin back and tucked in, trying to touch those kneecaps, okay? And another thing that you could be doing is touching your heels. So we're gonna be back on our backs, remember, and then we're gonna, all we're gonna do is slide, keeping our chins tucked and that spine into the ground just touching the sides of our feet. And here, obviously, we can't use our hands and anything for momentum, so we're gonna really just make sure we're stabilizing the whole time. So, with all of these tips, stop making the same mistake you've been making every single day. These are the tips that you need to get better, to get stronger. Now, if you want any type of ab workout, program. Go ahead and check out Go Ab Up. We have that for you. Listen, we create these products to help you. I create these videos to help you. If you need assistance, I'm here for you. Comment down in the comment section. Email me. Shoot me a message on Snapchat. I'll put my Snapchat right here. I'm always on Snapchat answering questions, listening to what people have to say, their stories, and that's very important to me. All the transformations don't lie. So, Thanks for tuning in. Remember the Driven hoodies and everything are on sale. Go ahead and check the description. Follow my vlog channel if you haven't already. Also, give me more ideas that you want me to produce for videos. We're trying to pump out incredible content for you and help you out with your body weight training and also your weight training. So go ahead and comment below. Hashtag Calisthenics, and I'll see you next time.